And a great day to you people on the awesome planet of Earth. It's Frankie. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, Crocodile. And it's been a while since I've been here. It's the Javits. Once again, it's time for the International Franchise Expo. That's where I'm about to go. I'm bringing you along. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. I'll pick out three or four different franchises to give, to give you, rather, an in-depth view of them. Let's do it. It's the Javits. We go. Now we're inside here at the International Franchise Expo. And we're coming up to our cool booth. We're coming up to Woofies! Woofies! Pet sitting and dog walk. And here to tell us a little bit and a lot of bit about all that is the one, the only, the talented Renee! Woohoo! Take it away, Renee! <laughs> How are you? We are good. Tell us all about Woofies! Sure. So, Woofies is a mobile pet spa, dog walking, and pet sitting company. And we are franchising right now. We are looking to bring in you as a new franchise owner. So, we um, have franchises in Northern Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. And follow me. Follow Renee! This here. Excuse me? Got it. Who's this, this here is Bogey. He's one of our sports Hi, guys. Bogey. He likes his close-ups on the camera. Oh, okay, but like, He's like a Bogart? Reason. Like Bogey? Um, Bogey as in golf. <laughs> oh, he shot a Bogey. Oh, Bogey no. Yes, Hi. this little baby is the kind of dog that we take care of. Just one one breed that um, we take care of at Whoopies. Okay. Well, in our mobile pets. Oh, wow. Yeah, tell us how, how it works. This is our Mercedes Sprinter. Oh, yeah. This man has two different tables for grooming. We carry 60 gallons of water and we groom curbside. So our clients have the convenience of staying at home while we take care of washing their dogs. Our groomers have a great working environment. Can I, can I step up? Is it Please do. Permitted? Jump in. All these simple steps. Here we go. All right. Wow. Wow. Hey. All right. Yes, so this wow. man has a lot of great features that make it easy for groomers to keep the dogs safe and under their control while they can reach all of their shampoos and all of their nail polish or booty bling tattoos. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. What? She can't just say that like, you know, like, it's everyday thing. You yes, gotta, I can. Well, you can, but not get away with it. Booty bling. Booty, what? Booty Playing. It's little tattoos that we can put on short haired dogs. Do you have them little here? Do you have them here? I don't have oh. any booty bling with me, but. Uh, booty bling! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, so all that's... kinds of fun things that our groomers can do for clients who want that little bit of extra. So, yeah, so this van, this table goes all the way down to the floor. So, if we have a 200 pound Newfoundland, our groomers don't have to pick that dog up. Oh, wow. We can actually just walk it onto here. This uh, table lifts up, walk them right in here to the tub. And they are good to go. So yeah, so this is our nice uh, no human I grooming. My show. <laughs> yeah, no human grooming allowed. Sorry. Okay, no, no, hey, yeah, right. It's, it's the rules. No, no humans. You had that request. Do no, not. I wouldn't request that. And, and and no human request for the booty butt no tattoo. Booty for humans. Bo booty bling no, tattoo. It's okay. No, no, sorry about that. Booty bling canine only. Different <laughs> channel. Not this channel. Okay. So yeah, yeah this is just one of our revenue streams. We also do um, pet sitting and dog walking. So we watch your dog while you're on vacation. We walk your dog while you're at work. And we wash your dog when he's dirty. So wow. take care of pets all around. And uh, it's a great, great concept. And we're hoping to find some great franchisees over here on the eastern uh, coast. And maybe get some started in New York. Very soon. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. picture one of these going down Times Square and getting everybody getting their dogs it, taken care of. It could happen, it could happen. So, who's that? Can we meet the other? This is Amy. Amy is one of the founders of Boofies. We're doing some filming. Oh, wait, live. this is Amy or this is Amy? I'm, I'm <laughs> like, oh, this is, this is Amy. <laughs> okay. yes, this, is, this is Amy. Okay, so I didn't know. What you... <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're looking good, Amy. All right. So, yes. so Amy is one of, Amy is one of the founders of Bookies, and I've been working for her for almost seven years. What? And she, I was, a, I've been a client for thirteen. Yes. 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 And so Amy and her business partner founded Bookies, and right. um, yeah, she is the Mac Daddy, a franchise. The Mac Mommy. Yes, Mac Mama. The Mac Mama. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we have to get. We have to get uh, well, unfortunately, we won't have a crisscross his past, but we have to get, get somebody to redo that. For real. So who's the, who's the other? Uh, so this is dude. 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 The dude abides. Dude. What's up, dude? 
dude is very chill. Yeah. Of course, it's a dude. Because he's the dude. Chill dude. And you have the hydrant just in case. Of course, because <laughs> every dog needs a fire. Every dog. <laughs> well, oh, that's a good hashtag. And then that's Bogey. He's been very busy. He had a yes, full we plate before. of um, Primo Hoagies. Oh, so he's a little tired. Okay. <laughs> So uh, tell us what comes with the franchise. So with the franchise, they get, is it the van, or if they just want to do dog walking and, and Drew, maybe they don't need a van, or how's it work? All yeah. three come together. So, okay. and you want all three, because those okay. three revenue streams feed each other. You know, so all three revenue streams are part of the package. Um, getting in with this van, it's under $200,000 initial investment to get in with Wookiees. because it's very economical, and um, you know, very low overhead on your pet sitting and dog walking. Just get your Mac, Mac Mama wagon. The Mac here. Mama. <laughs> Amy, oh. Mac Mama. Amy, no, you, you have to get it. Do, do me a favor. Yes. For the for the people, go in there, <laughs> close the door. Yeah. And we're gonna say, Amy, Mac Mama, and then you're like, shh, <laughs> open the door. Come on, Amy, Amy, Amy. <laughs> Let's do it. Bam, <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll do we'll do a. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for Amy. Who let Amy out? Oh, oh, oh. Work it, work it. Hi, I'm Amy. Nobody's, nobody's chasing me. I chase them. I spend my day with Renee. All right. Yeah, she, she loves cameras. Okay. What? All right, so we are going to link all the linky dinks, Renee. Thank yes. you so much. Dude. If you want to get in touch with yeah, us, yeah, yeah. you want to go to ownawookies.com. All right, and here is our phone number and also our regular consumer website. We can see a little bit more about our services. Whoopies.com. Yes. All right, thanks to the, yes. thanks to the dude and Bogey and, and Renee all day. And taking a look around at some of the other great franchises here. And I just found that, what, wait a minute, wait. Nestle Tall House? That's the secret family recipe? Nestle Tall House? Well, you know what? It really is. And here we have Ben to tell us all about it. Well, hi. It's not Phoebe's. It's not Phoebe's. Don't forget. <laughs> uh, look, here's what we are. We are the world's largest food brand. We are now a coffee shop with a barista option, fresh roast and brown with the Nestle Bakery. So if you can picture in your mind's eye, what you have is, you have the Starbucks, the Nestle brand, nice. and the Nestle Bakery. Sweet. All right, so four components. The coffee shop, you have the bakery, you have ice cream, and you have the savory. Four in one. Oh, so like we said, bakery, savory, ice cream, and coffee. Is there, is there like a song that goes with that? I can write you a jingle. Oh, it goes like this. Okay. N E S T L E S. Nestle spells the very best. Wow, I'm not gonna get copyright stricken for that, am I? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell people about the franchise a little more, if you could. So tell them. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. Sir. Tell us a bit more about the franchise. What people okay. can expect. So, so we have four different models. We have a, a, an end line model or a, a street level model. It's about a thousand fifteen hundred square feet, uh, about four hundred and fifty thousand dollars all in, including the franchise fee of uh, thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Royalties are six percent and one and a half percent, so seven and a half percent all in. That's on all the models. The second model is a an inline, like in a mall, about eight hundred to a thousand square feet, and it's three hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars all in. And then finally, we have kiosks. All right, so we have kiosks. Square feet, okay. uh, all in about 150 to 250 thousand dollars. It's a that sounds like a sweet deal, Ben. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Humor. You just have to chip away at it. Ah, ah, very nice. So Nestle Tall House. I'll put the links in the description to get a better look. All right. And uh, I guess the, the first person who should really, really look at this is Monica. 
right? Yeah, exactly. Whoever the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a friend's reference. Oh, yeah. Friend's reference. Oh, that was a Phoebe. So I got you. Well, yes, yeah. Monica wanted the cookies, but yeah, yeah. Phoebe's the one who was hiding. I got you. Hi, Ben, we appreciate it. Thank you, Guys, sir. take a look. All right. Nestle Toll House. Coming down the aisle here to a delicious, delicious franchise, the Philly Pretzel Factory franchise. Oh, that's, oh, whoa. a lot of great stuff here. Now look, now, and they're also veteran friendly for the vets out there. All right, so we're gonna come in here, get this big old truck. Well, I'm gonna try to get me a pretzel if I can get my badge out. This is Samantha. Hello. Hello, world. Hello, Thank Samantha. You. All right, so I had to scan my bed, so I'm going to get, uh oh, who's that in there? Maggie. Maggie! She's got a pretzel for Frankie, the Maginator. Sorry about that. Okay. Do you think? Do you think? It's okay? It's not a food truck franchisee. This is the truck just for the show? Yeah, we're brick uh, and mortar. Brick and mortar, but we got Maggie in there. Maggie's making some pretzels back there. Oh, Maggie, what do you got? delicious. Pretzel. And twisted, fresh out of the oven, hot out of the oven pretzel. Oh, okay. they still got Did a you say fresh or delicious? What? Fresh delicious, twisted by Meg. You twisted it? No, I did not. You're not a twisted sister? No, okay, but it is fresh. Back there? Woo! All right. All right, let's go have this bite, and then we're gonna talk to some people about this franchise. I right, give you a look here. It, it, it is definitely hot on the oven. This is good. I wish I had some mustard, though. I wonder if they have any mustard. They do! Mustard! So I'm, I'm not gonna show you, you guys me eating it, but I'm gonna do what they do. Joe and Ashley from See You Real Soon. Now you see it? And now you don't. Yummy for the tummy. Now over here in aisle 1200, and I have found busy at work, Carrie with a K over at the fashion class. Carrie, what are you doing? Hi, I'm uh, selling a couple of things today. What are you doing? I'm letting people know all about you. Wonderful. Yes, and the fashion class, you are the owner, the operator, the creator extraordinaire. Tell us about the fashion class. So we are a sewing school. We do fashion design and sewing classes, summer camps, and birthday parties. We have two New York City locations in Midtown and on the Upper East Side. Nice. So if people are looking to get into this franchise, what does it entail? What do you have to offer them? <laughs> <laughs> so I have nine years of experience to offer potential franchises. Ooh. We have eight years of beautiful sewing projects. Mm -hmm. So that includes tutorials, patterns, everything you need to know to start your own sewing studio. And it's, is it like from 8 to 80? Like what's the age? Like 8 what? to 80 is perfect. We can start as young as 4 years old with a parent present, so mommy and me lessons. And then 6 years old without a parent present, all the way up to full grown adults. Wow! So what, what, what's the, 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 the franchise? Like what's, it was people, what does it come with? What do they get? I see sure. a stage here. Oh, oh she's standing up. <laughs> all rise! We uh, work with Singer sewing machines. Okay. So they get uh, sewing machines with that, a nice discount from Singer. They get a wonderful runway stage. Do you get the stage? It's kind of a mess. Whoa, <laughs> that's okay. Are you, can you go on the stage? You are you? Uh, so they, they wait. They get a stage. Well, as part of the business, they need Whoa, a stage. Oh, all the world is a stage and carries all the rage. Nice. Yeah, so this is a uh, fashion class. So if someone's getting into the franchise, it comes with the sewing machine. Does it come with, with fabrics? Like what's yep, the whole? Yep. So we have the whole supply chain: fabrics, pin, scissors, sewing machines, stage, um, everything they need to run their own sewing studio. Sewing studio. And I heard before you don't need actual brick and mortar, but you need how much square square footage? So you, you saying? Do, you do need a studio. It doesn't a have studio to be a retail least. store on the ground floor. That was it. We're okay. on the fourth floor. People find us, um, but it's about fifteen hundred to twenty-five hundred square feet. 
That's the suggested recommended. That's suggested recommended, and that gives you enough space to have a sewing classroom, oh, a runway area, and an art classroom. And an art classroom. Yes. And what will they learn there? Art. Well, to <laughs> you learn art in the art classroom. The figure. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're gonna learn how to make. <laughs> they're gonna learn how to make all sorts of types of clothing. Is that is that? It's, like, so it's sewing and designing fashion. So sewing and it's sketching fashion, it's creating a fashion brand, and sewing your own clothing. That's awesome. Excellent. So I definitely will link all of your information in the description. And definitely guys check it out. Give Carrie a look, the fashion class. And if you know if you have your old singer in the attic, dust it off, practice, and uh, sew some stuff. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. And I am back in Brooklyn at this random location by the Marine Park Swampland or Wetland. Swampland? Wetland? Same thing. Wetland area. Anyway, I was going to do the outro by the Hudson Yard vessel. I didn't realize you need to buy tickets. They're free. But you need to get a ticket to go up and all the tickets for today were sold out. But that might have been good because then I realized I had all those catalogs and brochures from the Franchise Expo. Very heavy. So, might not have been wise to walk all the way up those stairs. But anyway, little bugs. Decided to just come back to Brooklyn, drop off all those magazines, take a walk by the park over here. Uh, hope you enjoyed some of the really cool franchises over at the Expo. There was a lot more and I didn't show you for two reasons. One is a lot of them didn't know what YouTube was or is. You got to get some millennials on your staff or your franchise expos. They have no, didn't have any clue. Also, there were some cool franchises there. I'm going to tech my bugs here. Sweet blood, as they say. There were some pretty cool franchises, such as a Escape the Room franchise. Except you would think that that would be like a really cool franchise, Escape the Room, they would have like a really cool display. Nothing. They just had a table and a, a back display. So that's like really, really boring. Like, if you have an Escape Room franchise, wouldn't you bring an Escape Room that people could go in and take a look at? I mean, there's another company that had a Christmas decoration store, which had no Christmas decorations whatsoever. Like if you do, if you try to push a franchise of a Christmas decoration store, wouldn't you bring a sample of the the decorations? This had like a very skinny, thin display with nothing. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed what we did see, and I will see you in the future. Hopefully, hopefully that was a loud card. I will see you in the future. Hopefully the near future. Regardless, your future starts right now.